In this lesson, we're going to look at how to start calculating angles using trigonometry. But before we do that, we must look at what, what's called an inverse function. An inverse function is an undoing process in mathematics. Generally, most functions in maths have an undoing process. You meet this early on in primary school. Uh, the first uh, undoing process is, well, if the function's adding, then the, the undoing process is, is, is take away or subtract, which is, is called the inverse function of adding. We also look at multiplying, and the, the inverse function of multiplying is dividing. Now, the undoing process for squaring a number, since you've just done Pythagoras theory, you should be familiar with this. Um, the, the undoing process for squaring a number is uh, square rooting. And the same idea for, for tan. You can undo the trigonometric functions, tan, sine and cos. To undo them, uh, you inverse tan, sine or cos. Now these undoing processes get you back to the starting value, if you like. So if you add on 6, then and subtract 6, you get back to where you started. If you multiply by 2 and divide by 2, you get back to where you started. If you square uh, a number like 5 and get 25 and then square root it, that will get you back to 25. And it's the same process uh, with, with tan. If you take the tan of a value, you get a decimal. And if you inverse that, you get back to the, back to the angle. So let's have a look at how you do that. So imagine you already know that the tan of a is equal to a decimal value, but you actually want to know what that angle is. Well, you can you can do that in your calculator, and the process to do it is explained here. You can either hit shift tan along with the 0 0.9, and uh, the angle of 42 appears. You can use a second uh, function button and then tan, um, or inverse tan. Now, these shift second function and inverse buttons are generally speaking, uh, these ones here, uh, they're generally speaking found up here in the calculator, usually in the top corner. So if you hit that and then one of the sine, cos and tan buttons, what it does is it gives you access to these uh, functions up top, the inverse functions, and they're, they're written as with a wee negative one higher uh, than the actual the word or the, the function. So inverse sine's here, inverse cos is here, and inverse tan is here. So we practice on that down below. If I wanted to calculate the angle here and tan A was 0 0.466, I would do inverse tan 0 0.466 and 25 degrees should pop out. Try it now in your calculator. Hit shift tan and then the number or inverse tan and the number or second function tan and the number. And you can try that for these three examples here. If you inverse tan 1.483, then 56 degrees should pop out. And again, if you inverse tan 0 0.249, then 14 degrees appears. Now, you don't need to just use um, the inverse tan button. You can use inverse cos and inverse sine in the same manner. And we'll see that later on when we do examples.